Hello and welcome to part 2 of this video series and today we're going to be showing off some of the new features of the bot maker. So first you would need you will need the actual bot maker. Just open that. There we go. Now click start obviously. I have since fixed the fonts, which is pretty nice. Um, all the functionality is still the same. I've just added some new features. Um, if you haven't watched the first tutorial, I recommend you do that. So, um, let's get started. Let's make a welcome message. This will be DM to the person who joins your server. Server, I can't speak. So, let's make the message. Hello and welcome. You can just click add. You'll see it's been added here. It will print to console that it sent the message as well. Here, if we want a random return command, let's make it coin flip. I spelled that wrong. Let's make the random choices in this format. This is very important. So we, we're going to put one single print, or we're going to put one single quotation mark, put what our random choices inside. Let's make it heads, close it, put a comma, then we can add a new one. We can put tails, close it, and then comma. Then we can click add command. There you go. Now we need our bot token. You can get this from your Discord developer dashboard, but you should already know this from the first tutorial. Let's paste it right in here. Add token. There we go. Now we can click export. Alright, does it not want to export? It does not seem to want to export. If it doesn't export for you, click open first and then click export. So here we go, we, we have the exported file. There we go. And now we can copy this and put it into idle. Let me open a new idle window. There we go. We can press F5 and run it. Here's the log. See if it ever starts. Alright. It doesn't seem to want to start, so let's, let's see, let's try it out. There we go, it works. There random and it works. It's pretty good. I'm not really sure why I didn't print ready here, but that's it.